There's an incredibly ancient black hole out there that's challenging astronomers to explain how it could exist only 400 million years after the Big Bang. It's at the heart of a galaxy called GNZ 11. Astronomers using James Webb Space Telescope saw evidence of it gobbling up that galaxy, which is one way a black hole can grow. In James Webb Space Telescope observations, GNZ 11 appears to be about 13.4 billion light years away and is about 100 times smaller than the Milky Way galaxy. Yet, it has a very bright nucleus, which tells us there's a black hole at its heart. An accretion disk surrounds the black hole, and it feeds material into the hungry black hole. The motion of the material in the disk heats it, causing it to glow in ultraviolet light. That's what we see as the active galactic nucleus. What does GNZ 11 tell us about black holes in the early universe? Supermassive black holes, like the ones in the hearts of galaxies, could get started as stellar mass black holes that continue to accrete matter. If that's how this one in GNZ 11 got started, it would have been born when a supermassive star died. Then, somehow it grew to be 6 million times the mass of the sun. But, there's a gotcha. It would take nearly a billion years to accumulate that kind of mass. James Webb Space Telescope observations show this black hole at a time when the universe wasn't even a billion years old. So, something doesn't add up and perhaps early black holes grew faster than astronomers suspect. Maybe there's another way for a black hole to grow that fast. The hint lies in its enormous appetite. Very early galaxies like this one have a lot of material to form stars. However, that also provides food for black holes. As it turns out, GNZ 11's black hole is devouring matter much faster than other black holes do in their galaxies in more modern times. That's great for the growth of the black hole, but not so great if the galaxy wants to make more stars. The hungry black hole is actually harming GNZ 11. Since it's consuming a lot of gas, it pushes the gas away in an ultra-fast wind. That stops the process of star formation. Since stars are what galaxies produce, the black hole's gobbling can actually kill off the galaxy. The bad news is that its appetite for gas will spell its doom as it runs out of material to eat.